Yo, what's up guys? So today I decided to install the battery box into my car. Um, like many of you, I decided to relocate this and move it from the front to the back. So it's gonna be in my trunk now, but I did decide to do something a little bit different. So for my setup, I decided to mount the battery in the center location right over here and the bottom of the trunk well. I did this instead of doing the side portion over here cause it was kind of funky underneath this area. This is where the gas tank is and the rear bumper support kind of runs through here. So it's kind of a weird spot for me to drill to, to mount the tie downs. And on the driver's side, it just wasn't a lot of space for me to work with. So ultimately that's why I decided to move forward with putting the battery in the center. I did have to drop the tank and by doing so, it allowed me some space underneath so I can really rework this center portion right here so it's nice and flattened out. And I also drilled a couple of holes that I'm gonna to use to secure my battery tie downs. Next, I'll walk you through all the supplies that I'm using. Starting with the rods for the battery tie down, this is gonna go through those two holes that I showed you that I drilled through. The bottom nut I had welded so I don't have to worry about that backing out. Got a couple of washers to add some more structural support there. Um, this is gonna go up through the hole. I'm gonna have a couple of washers, a flat washer, lock washer, that's gonna hold that in place. And essentially, so I'll have two rods sticking up out from the bottom of my trunk area. Um, that is gonna go through these two holes that I drilled in the bottom of my battery box. This is just a regular old battery box that you could buy online. I did get a battery tie down top portion that matches the battery that I'm gonna be using. So this is the battery size. This is a typical battery that you can see used in like Hondas and stuff like that. It's a relatively small battery, but it puts out some pretty good juice. So I decided to go with this guy. This is all of the cable that I will be running. This is some 99.9% .9 oxygen free copper. It can be used for power or ground. Um, this is a zero gauge. Really good stuff here. Don't cheap out on your wire. And this is the top part of my battery box. I did modify it. I added a master kill switch and I drilled out and added it to this side, as well as adding a volt gauge on this side. So I did customize the box a little bit, uh, but I think it'll be a pretty cool setup for us. This portion right over here is gonna be running to my fuse block. And this portion is gonna be running to the ground. And I have a pretty neat setup under here that I was able to get everything wired up, but I'll show you more of that um, along the install. All right, so if it makes a little bit more sense now, this is what it looks like with the battery box installed. So it's directly in the center of the back of the trunk area. And this is with the two rods going through it. Um, for those of you wondering, this is going to be a full purpose drift car. It's not going to see any street time, so I don't care about the space that's back here. But this is what it looks like. So we have it going up. We have it bolted down. So this box is not going anywhere. Next up, I'm going to put the battery in and throw the tie down on. Okay, it's finally starting to take shape here. We got the battery in. We got the tie down on. Everything's nice and tight and secure. This is not moving anywhere. Bottom portion is good to go. We're gonna start working on the top portion, connecting the terminals and getting all the wires ran how we want it to run. All right, so we got the top connected. I connected the ground wire. I'm gonna leave the positive terminal um, not connected until we're finished with everything. But this is essentially how it's gonna look and how it's gonna sit. I measured the distance um, on both ends right here and put it right here. What I'm gonna do is grab a Dremel and kind of clear out so I can get some nice fresh metal for the ground right here. All right, so I used the Dremel to get rid of some of that coating on this portion that's gonna be my ground. I stayed within my template. I don't wanna go past it because I don't want any exposed metal, but this is what it came out like. And it should be pretty good. All right, so I think this came out pretty sick. I finished up all the wiring and made all the connections and uh, really happy with how it turned out. So this is the ground wire that we we're messing with earlier. This is the power wire going to the fuse block. I have it routed going across the trunk and then it's gonna run along the side of the body. Um, from here, it enters the main cabin. I'll show you what it looks like inside. This is it coming through that hole that I was talking about. Got it zip tied and secured and kind of tucked away so it's not gonna flop around and make noise and all that. I have it running through the bottom of this portion. This is like where the seat goes. And then I have it ran up to this area, like above my glove box. Um, I have it going to a power distribution block. This is kind of like a Y. So this uh, is coming from the battery. It splits and this goes to the fuse box. Um, I did relocate my fuse boxes to be in the glove box. And the last part of the Y over here uh, goes directly to the starter. 
So this is how I ran the battery setup in my car. And to be honest with you guys, I'm really happy with how it came out. I think it's gonna work out really well for me. Um, I like that it's in the middle, just in case, you know, if anything were to happen and I were to beat this car up a little bit while drifting, I think it's more safer here than on the side. Um, test it out. And we are good to go.